Hello there, it's Wig Gaming here, and today I want to bring you a short video on how to use our new released statistics and battle calculator. So as you may know, yesterday evening we have posted on our Discord, link in the description down below, um, a battle calculator that serves the purpose to help you in deciding which equipment you should craft for your commanders. So without further ado, drop a like on the video, subscribe, and let's get straight into it. Before beginning, I want to deeply thank all the players that spent their time and effort working on this project. In the specific, I would like to thank Player123, DJ Voldemort and some other friends from Kingdom1429 who have helped a lot with testing. Thank you guys. So this is the overview of our battle calculator. Let's remove the game for a second so you can have a clear view of what's going on on the screen. First thing you need to know, everything now is preset on the same values and you can see that the normal attack damage is exactly the same because if two marches have exactly the same amount of statistics they will die at the same time. In fact you can see here on the bottom the total losses being 7665 point something for both parts and uh, yeah that's it after 10 turns. How to begin? You simply have to select from this drop-down window the troop that you want to analyze. For example, tier 1 infantry, or you have a special unit for Korea, then you select tier 4 Korea. Or in my case, I have tier 5 um, archers, Ottoman, I can select Ottoman tier 5. So these, those will be the statistics of the Janissary. So instead of going in game, let's bring the game back, instead of going in game and clicking on your city, and then clicking on your archery range, click on here, then going on a tier 5 and on the info box and um, putting these numbers manually into um, the boxes, the system, the calculator will do everything for you. You just need to select the troop type that you want and the boxes will be automatically filled out. So let's go back to our Ottoman tier 5 and as the spreadsheet says on the top, you need to enter your values in the grey cells manually. So everything that's in grey is for you to input your personal information. This is the technology bonus that you got, basically your troop buffs. This is the commander, are the commander fix bonuses that we will speak about in a moment. This is the boxes to input your equipment, so the bonuses that the item you equip are giving to your commanders. Here you can input, for example, some damage bonus that you got in KVK, or the 50% of Osiris League, or even the 5% from the VIP 17. Here, any type of counterattack bonus, for example, Charles Martel giving you 20% counterattack bonus, you can input it here, and you will see that the value will increase because you will deal more damage to your enemy. So let's go back to zero and let's analyze one of our marches, shall we? Let's make the game bigger. Let's go and uh, attack a Barbarian. Oh, so there is Karyak today, so let's spawn a Karyak. Let's click on attack and dispatch our Artemisia and Ramses. Uh, before doing that, I was almost forgetting, we need to remove every piece of equipment that our commander have. So let's go over to Artemisia, let's remove the, the helm, the chest piece, then we remove the golden age, we remove the revival griefs, the flame threads, the ancient stratagems, the Delane's amulet and the leather gloves. So our Artemisia is naked right now, so she has no equipment. Let's click on our Karwak, dispatch troops, let's click on our Artemisia and click march. Once the battle has finished, you can click on the report, scroll down and go on troop buffs. Click on troop buffs and here you can see your technology bonuses. We have 115 archer attack, 123.5% archer defense and 86.5% archer health. What we need to do now is to input the same exact values on our battle calculator. So let's go over to our battle calculator and let's write 100 here in the technology bonus, 115% archer attack, 123.5% archer defense and 86.5% archer health, which is what we have right now. 
However, in the case of Artemisia Ramses, there is a small catch. Let's see. Ramses' second skill here, the Poem of Pentaur, while on the map, archer units led by this commander gain 40% increased attack. Well, this type of skill, where, where it says while on the map, are not actually displayed on here. And the same happens, for example, with Alexander the Great. The third skill, for example, says while on the map, infantry units led by this commander gain 30% increased march speed and 30% increased attack. How to be 100% sure about this? Let's click on a random barbarian on the map, let's click on attack, and let's select the same march but without Ramses, so without the skill that we need to actually test. Let's wait for the battle to finish, and once we obtain the report, let's click on the report, and let's go again on troop buffs, and we see that we have the same amount of archer attack. So Ramses' second skill uh, right here, let's find it again, while troops are on the map, archer units led by this commander gain 40% increased attack. This is not accounted for in our battle report. As we can see here, we have 115% attack here, and in the previous report, while we had Artemisia and Ramses together, we had the same archer attack. So what do we need to do? We need to go over our calculator and add 40% increased attack in the commander fix bonus. Now, there is one more thing that we should account for. Let's go over again to our game, let's click on Ramses, and let's see what says Ramses' fourth skill. The normal attacks of troops led by this commander have a 10% chance to heal a portion of slightly wounded units and grant troops 40% increased defense for 3 seconds. Now, I don't have a crystal magic ball. Uh, taking account of temporary bonuses um, triggered by a small percentage like this one is extremely difficult. But let's say that we live in a perfect world. We are in a perfect scenario. So this 10% chance will be an actual 10% chance. So one turn on 10, actually three turns on 10, our Ramses will uh, benefit of 40% increased defense. So what we need to do is to account for the 30% of this 40% bonus, which is 12%. Let's go back to our battle calculator and let's write in the defense section 12%. So we have now accounted for everything that our commander give to us. So we have our troop buffs without our equipment and our commander fix bonuses. The important thing is that you make this exact evaluation for every commander and every pairing that you are bringing on the map. So first you select the troop type, then the system will write automatically the base statistic in the boxes so you don't need to do anything, you battle something on the map, you write here the technology buff by uh, looking at the battle report and then you write um, the commander fix bonuses, if there are any, of course, because sometimes you have nothing. What do we have to do now? Let's go back to our game and let's go to equip back the items on our Artemisia. So here we go, our revival helm, our commander's heavy armor, our golden age, our revival greaves, leather gloves and flame threads. So the total, considering all the special talents as well uh, of the equipment on our Artemisia is, let's go to our battle calculator, 3% attack, 32.5% defense and 17% health. And we write everything here, exactly how we equipped. Oh, sorry, 32.5%, not 21.5. So we can see that the total benefit that we get is 25.35% in the form of 1.18% damage dealt increased to the enemy thanks to the 3% attack and 24.17% damage taken reduction thanks to the defense and health that we equipped on our Artemisia. Now the fun part. So what's the total of these statistics right here? We have 20 plus 32.50, it's 52.50%. But what if we distribute everything on attack, for example? Will it benefit more our archers or not? Let's try. So with this configuration right here, my actual configuration, I have a benefit of 25.35%. 
Let's now point um, everything to zero again, and let's write 52.5%. We can see that the total benefit will be reduced to 20.59%. So my configuration with 3% attack, 32.5% defense, and 17% health will be much better. So you will be able to uh, compare any type of equipment that you want. For example, let's go back in the game. Uh, let's say that we want to remove uh, this health piece. Let's click on remove and let's equip our uh, revival plate from the set, which also has a special talent. The total of our bonuses will now be different. Let's briefly calculate them. Let's go over to our battle calculator and let's write now 13% attack, 32.5% defense and 9% health, which is what we got right here. And you can see that our total benefit is still lower than before. So our previous configuration with the commander's heavy armor, so the elite piece instead of the epic piece, was better. Let's write 3, 32.5 stays the same, and 17% health will have a benefit of 25.35%. So you will be able to mess up with the equipment as much as you want. This was the actual purpose of the equipment. So the purpose of this calculator is uh, to give you an idea of what your damage will look like with different equipment scenarios and also the actual item influence on your commanders. So remember to put everything that you got in these gray boxes here. If you want to test, of course, the damage calculation, you also need to take care of filling this box right here. If you are using 5,000 troops, you write 5,000. If you are using 310,000 troops, you write 310,000, and so on. One important tip that I can give to you is to use the same troop type for both you and your enemy. So let's select Ottoman tier 5 here and let's write the same statistics that we have on the left. So 115 attack, 123.5 defense and 86.5% health. In the commander fix bonus let's put the same 40 and 12 and the item bonus let's put exactly the same 3%. 32.5 and 17. Okay, we wrote here 310,000 and here 210,000. So let's modify this as well. Let's write 310. And you can see that the damage is exactly the same. Total losses 7,189 versus 7,189. If those two marches in a perfect world battle together without taking account of any randomness caused by the skills, they will die exactly at the same time, so you will now be able to mess up more with the equipment. So now everything looks the same, you see? 806, 806. The damage looks the same. Uh, but now I want to change things up. I want to stay here with what we got, and on the other side I want to put the revival plate, as we have in the game right here. So we will write 13% attack, 32.5 stays the same because defense has not been modified, and health is 9%. We can see that we will deal more damage compared to the enemy, because we will resist more. We have more damage taken reduction and the total benefit from this set of bonuses will be more beneficial compared to this one, because the enemy will have 24.39% of benefit. So you can see that you can do whatever you want with this calculator, just uh, fill the grey boxes with your datas, choose the commanders you want to test, uh, choose the troop type that you want to analyze, and do whatever you want. Here we have two extra bonuses, damage bonus and counter attack bonus. So if you are for example VIP 17, let's put everything back to the same again, so 3% and 17% here, so now everything is the same, but what about one of the two players has a VIP 17? The VIP 17 has a 5% all damage bonus, so just write 5% in this box here, and this will represent a multiplicative bonus. You can see that you will deal exactly 5% more damage than before. So you will deal 846 damage on the first turn with normal attacks, and the enemy will still deal 806. If you have a counterattack bonus, let's say that you crafted uh, the Vengeance, which gives you 8% counterattack. Now it's equal, but as soon as I press Enter and digit 8, you will see that I will deal more counterattack, 8% more counterattack. 
One thing that this calculator does not take account for is the benefit that some troop types have over other troop types. For example, infantry will deal 15% more damage on cavalry, cavalry 15% more on archers, archer 15% more on infantry, but we are planning to implement this in future uh, releases of the calculator, so we will constantly update with new features. I remember that this calculator right here is available now to everyone for free. What you need to do is just click the link in the description down below, join our Discord and then download it. Have fun! I hope this example was clear for you. If yes and if you like my content, please consider dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. It's a free way to support this channel and you can always change your mind. As always, I will see you on the next one. Ciao!